Does it work? Is this like this? Yeah. You hear? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jackie in our work world was a social worker, and and I'm a psychologist, and together we work together in, at the Mental Health Center, which is across the street in that building over there, in the courthouse. So we we worked together for the 25 years that she worked at the Mental Health Center before she retired, and uh, we not only we're in the same place, but we did things together. We had groups, we co-therapy together, and uh, had frequent discussions about different things, and compared ideas. And uh, Jackie was always somebody who had very strong opinions about uh, her work, and she enjoyed being a social worker and was proud of that. And and and. Uh, and on several occasions would let people know that. Uh, and she was very, uh, as all of you know Jackie, she was very willing to let people know her opinions about things when she felt that was important. And so we had, <clears throat> in the 25 years we were together, uh, working together, we had several discussions uh, back and forth we agreed and disagreed uh, uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, but, but was a meaningful thing to both of us. Uh, and not only it was uh, kind of a friendship when we were working, uh, it also helped, helped us each be, uh, she was a better social worker and I was a better psychologist because of the most of when we moved here uh, to Mission Square, uh, Tom and Jackie and Don lived here, and so we, my wife and I, Eleanor, back there, uh, uh, would, on an evening meal, would, would end up having uh, dinner together at the same table. So we would be able to carry on conversations to the four of us and to anybody else at the table. And my wife, who didn't know Jackie, with her in this way, and they had several interesting conversations during dinner time. So, so the two of us, me, uh, Jackie and Don, and I have to say that uh, she will be uh, greatly missed. else wants to say something before I do, that's perfectly all right with me. You have some pictures that are worth the price of admission. This is, this is a picture of me at less than one year and Jackie at 12. She always liked the fact that people told her she looked like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to mention a few things, a very few things, that would give you some sense of the flavor of her life. Uh, I think that might do better than me trying to, be, trying to express what I felt of her. In the early years of our marriage, we were married, oh, well, we made it for 24 and a half years. If you count the going together, that's a little over 25. Well, it's not quite 25, it'd be 25 in October. Um, we would go to public places because she loved to go. Uh, but we never went, I don't think we ever went to one uh, without somebody coming up to her uh, and very quietly saying thank you for the things she had done for them, mostly as a therapist. Uh, and that impressed me. Uh, I must admit, I had not been in that impressed with psychology until I met Jackie. <laughs> but I learned something. Uh, she, was, she, she was very important in that field. 
There's another paragraph I want to say before I say the last one. Uh, some of you have heard me say this, so it won't be new to all of you. But I want to say just a few words about our meeting together for the first time. Uh, my first wife uh, and I have been divorced eight years. Jackie had been divorced for 12 years. Uh, anyway, my first wife asked me to help out in that antique uh, place we had uh, in Crown Center. And in, she had one in Westport too called the Jewelry Box Antiques. And she asked me to help her out in a colored stone program. She, and she was teaching people who would come. So I agreed to help her out. And that was one of the best things I ever agreed to do. Because right in the middle of, the, of all that was happening, Jackie stood up, I think, to go look at a, a colored stone. She was in the front row. And I knew in that moment that she was the one. And, and as I told some of you, it was very fortunate that she was single. <laughs> uh, anyway, after that program was over, she started out the door, because she was not one to, to linger. She started out the door, and I followed her. And I asked her to go out with me. And she, I may have known in the first five seconds, but she didn't know for another month. And, uh, Anyway, she went out the door, and she was very skeptical about this. And then I made the worst statement I ever made. Uh, I said, you don't have to worry about me. I'm a Presbyterian minister. <laughs> and she, and she, and that did not impress her at all. <laughs> As she walked down the, ha the walkway, I followed a little bit, but I was sort of hesitant. And then she turned around, and she said, I'll go to a movie with anybody. Uh, uh, some people have said, that really put you down, didn't it? It didn't, because I knew I had a chance. <laughs> and uh, that was the type of plain-spoken person she was. I had to put that story in, because I would have cried if I didn't. Uh, I had 56 years before I met Jackie, but the last 24-plus really added to and changed my life, and I think made me a very different person. Some of you have a hard time realizing it, but I'm basically an introvert. And uh, she brought that out, and when she became sick, she was the introvert. I mean, we never went any place that she knew everybody that was in voice reach and knew everything about them. She just talked and asked questions. As her son said, she knew how to ask questions, uh, and very specific questions. Anyway, uh, she was the outgoing one, and I was the quiet one. But when she got ill, she became the quiet one, and I guess I found her place and tried to take it for a while. So anyway, all of this is told a little, a little bit about her. There's one other, my daughter's I may have trouble with 